Residents of Green Bay are trying to stay cool as the highs are forecasted to hit the 90s this week. Dr. Ryan Murphy of Aurora Baycare Medical Center reminds us that the summer weather can have severe consequences. So things that we want to watch for would be heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Uh, most people will experience some form, form of heat exhaustion. It's where you get very hot, you feel kind of tired, you almost develop those flu-like symptoms, maybe some uh, abdominal cramping versus heat stroke, which is much more serious. Uh, heat stroke is some type of neurologic involvement where people actually start to hallucinate uh, or they have an altered mentation or maybe even pass out from such. People venturing outside should wear light, breathable fabric. If you start to feel sick, find shade and drink fluids often. Heat-related injuries are not unheard of. Uh, sometimes they can be fatal. You'll see this most prominently in people who have a hard time getting out of the hot environment. So this is going to be children who are very young or infants, um, our elderly patients, um, or our chronically debilitated patients. It's also important to remember that certain medications that you might be on inhibit your body's normal mechanisms of cooling itself. Um, and so it's important to recognize that if you come across someone who you know, they seem hot to touch, you notice they're not really even sweating, they're confused, um, those are the patients that need to seek medical care. Murphy says skin care is often forgotten, so people should try and apply sunscreen often. Luckily, Green Bay provides several community pools to help residents stay cool in the heat. For Press Gazette Media, I'm Corey Picard.